So, um, I tried recording this a bit ago, or not a bit ago, but like yesterday, and, uh, it picked up the wrong, the recording picked up the wrong microphone, so it sounds really bad, so we're gonna try this again. Anyway, so I was not enjoying, I have not been enjoying, um, competitive for a while, and, uh, I realized that the reason for that being was I wasn't, I didn't really like the environment that my team had. So, I realized I had to have a talk with them about it. And, you know, having a conversation like that is pretty difficult sometimes. I realized that it seems that's where a lot of teams fail and that's what causes a lot of disbands. So, really, I want to, like, say Teams should have those conversations, those difficult conversations. Now, I know that type of thing is easier said than done, so I want to try to help out a little bit and give some advice as to how you can approach these in the best way possible. So, first off, don't get into the conversation right away, right when you see the issue. You know, your emotions are riding high at that point, and saying those type, talking about it now will just cause even more problems than it'll solve. You want to take some time to think about it, think about what you want to say, if you really need to say anything at all, because you never know, it might have just been a one-off situation, so you want to give us some time to actually actually fester a little bit, and if you notice that it's an increasing problem, then that's when you take take the time to figure out the um, to figure out and talk about the issue with your team. Only if it's a recur reoccurring issue, or if you feel you absolutely need to talk about it with your team. And then once you figure it out that yes, this is a conversation that I need to have, um, spend some time to figure out what you want to say. Plan out what you want to say. Maybe write the stuff down if you have to. Because, un unlike for for me, like I c I can I was just able to think about what I want wanted to say on the spot and just come up with it from there. But I know some people don't really have that type of like foresight, or they don't their brain doesn't really function that way. So if you need. To, to, to make sure you get all your points, write stuff down if you have to, so you know, so you have all the points that you want to cover. So once you have all that figured out, then that's when you go go and plan a meeting with your team, so you can discuss things in a more relaxed setting, not dur during games or whatnot, practice, because you, you likely will not get a good response if, if you do it at times like this. You need to do it when... You have to do it when the atmosphere is right. Do it in a relaxed setting where no one's stressed out and people are prepared for it. Let's do this real quick. So yeah, once you have all your stuff figured out, then that's when you go and uh, schedule a meeting with your team, like I said earlier. If you're like me and you're the captain of the team, you can very easily just be, be like, ping your team and just be like, hey guys, we need to have a conversation. Um, can we discuss this at such and such a time? But if you're not the captain of your team, then it would be a good idea to approach your captain privately in DMs or something and be like, hey, I want to have a conversation with everyone. Can we ha Can we schedule a meeting for such and such a time? And then they can be like, yes, we can do that, or no, we need to do this at a different uh, time. And you can go from there. I would recommend that when you're having this meeting, you should do it over text. Now, I know that might sound a little bit strange, but it's usually better to do it over text because, um, because it's easier for you to actually say what you want to say in the most respectful tone or in the most respectful way possible. Because when, you, when you're talking uh, voice to voice, it can sometimes 
times cause um, it can sometimes cause you to say things that you don't entirely mo in don't entirely mean. And that can cause the conversation to go off the rails a little bit if you're not careful. Now, if you have enough confidence that you will actually be able to say what you mean through voice chat, then by all means, do it in voice chat if you feel it's necessary. But I would rec recommend doing it over text just so you can review the things that you said. And, you know, reword things if you have to. Because the thing about text is you can... You can review the things that you say before hitting send. Whereas once once you said the spoken word, that's that's it. You can't you can't have for take back what you say. So once you have have all that figured out and you've had the conversation, hopefully the conversation goes as well. And if it doesn't, then that's your sign that you need to maybe try to find a new team. Because if your current team doesn't care care enough to actually listen to what you have have to say and actually give it some thought and take it to heart, then it's it's not it's not worth it. It's not the right team for you. But then, what if the conversation went favorably and you're still not seeing much of any change? Well, then. Here's where things where you might have to have to start taking a risk. Maybe you weren't being clear enough, or maybe you have to be more direct about what you were saying. At which point you might have to start being a bit more blunt. But here's the problem with being blunt. Being blunt can sometimes come off as being rude. So it's a fine balance that you need to figure out. That happened with me and my team. I realized that things still weren't changing the way I wanted them to, so I had to be more direct in order to get my point across. And you know, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be nice at, while the conversation's going on, but you gotta stand your ground in order to, in, in order to show that you want to have have some proper respect. Of course, you can you can be blunt and still be respectful, but no matter what, it it it's gonna ca cause a little bit bit of discourse between you and your team. And you know what? It's okay. You don't have to feel bad about it, because you know what they say: the truth hurts. So if, even if you don't get a favorable response right away, if your team genuinely cares, eventually they'll come around. And if they don't, then again, you know for sure that you know for sure that it's not a team that you want to hang around with. And you don't have to feel bad if you don't get a favorable response right away. Because in the end, you did what you set out to do. You wanted to express your issues with the team, and how they took it or not is not really your problem after that. You already conveyed the information, you already told them what you wanted. And that's all that you needed to do. I know you'll do great. I want to hear all about it when you come back. So hopefully all the things I've said will actually help you out a little bit. And remember, don't, don't feel bad if things don't go favorably. It just means that maybe the team that you're on is not a team that you should be staying on anymore. And in the end, that's something that you need to figure out by yourself. I know it might be a scary thing, having to have difficult conversations with your team, your friends, but communication is a necessary part of life. And honestly, this is just good life advice in general. Being able to, to have a conversation and about serious topics and things that need improving, I feel like this is where a lot of teams fail and end up causing disbands because they lack communication. But if you're able to have open and honest communication with your team, then things will, will work out eventually, even if you don't have a favorable response. And that's, that's one thing that you got to remember. You have to be open and you have to be honest. That's, that's the main thing here. If you're being honest, then at the end of the day, it will go well. The conversation will end well if all of you are willing to be open and honest with each other. So be sure, so make sure you keep the points that I've made in mind. 
don't go go into the conversation right right away make sure to take take some time to think about what you want to say write it down if you have to and once you've done that discuss a time where you can have the conversation with your team in an open and honest environment when everyone is, is in it, not in a, in a calm environment i mean and i recommend having the conversation through text just so it's easier for you to be able to say things without it be being too emotionally charged but if you're confident enough that you can have the conversation over voice and you'd rather or do it that way then by all means do it over 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 voice chat i just recommend doing it over text just because it'll just because i think it'll be easier to get your points across in the res in a most respectful way possible and if by the end of all all of that you still aren't seeing much ch change then it's possible that you might have to start being a bit more blunt have a com have another conversation and be a bit more blunt in what you want to say which which comes with the risk of causing a little bit of discourse but in the end if your teammate mates genuinely care and want to improve the environment of the team it it will work out in your favor like i said i had to go through all of this with my team as well so i had i had to have that blunt conversation and you know it hurt and you might not all, always get the favorable response right right away. In my case, it took about a day for it took about a day for the response to be more favorable because I was specifically talking to one specific teammate about uh, problems I was having with them, and it was not a favorable response in the beginning. But eventually, after they took some time to to reflect on on the things that were said they realized that yeah there was actually some weight to the things that i was saying and eventually it caused them to realize that they did have some things to work on and you know it led to it led to a more favorable conversation afterwards and of course if that doesn't happen with you then I think it's pretty safe to say that you need to find a new team. And you know what? That's okay. If the response isn't always favorable, that's okay. Because you did what you set, set out to do, and that was to to convey your issues. And if, if they don't respond to it favorably, then that's on them. It, it's not your fault. So, I hope this helps a little bit. This was a little conversation that I wanted to have after having that situation with my t team, it kind of made me realize that, yeah, I think communication is one of the things that make teams fail a lot, so I wanted to try to equip new teams for having these types of things happen with them, and maybe, hopefully, it'll give people a way to be able to maintain their teams a little bit, or be able to, like, maintain peace in their teams, I mean, what I meant to say. But, uh, yeah. That's pretty much all I have to say on the subject, so let us go and take care of this first Titan. I think I want to wait for a better atmosphere first, though, so I will join you guys back in a little bit when I feel the atmosphere is right for the Titan fight. All right. Here we go.
let's do this. Time to defeat this boss in less than a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Playing this on New Game Plus is so funny. The first seal is broken. Thy next foe awaits on the San Scar Island. Right. You said Titans earlier, plural. Darn it. I guess this isn't over until I pop all the big bots. Sorry, Amy. I'm feeling more like my old self. It's working. Keep going and don't keep me waiting. I'll be back before you can do a fortune card reading. See ya! And that's it for Kronos Island. Cool. I didn't want this to be easy anyway. <clears throat> Alright, so now that all the fake fans are gone and it's just me and you here, I just wanted to take a minute to talk about myself for a little bit because, um, just to let y'all know, I, I, I'm, I'm doing fine. You don't ha have to worry about... Okay. You don't have to worry about, about, uh, about me. There's no bad blood with my team. Um, as of... As of right now, I'm just trying to... F I'm just taking a little break from competitive just to figure out what I want to do because, yes, we did have a decent, favorably favorable conversation, but I don't know. For the time being, I'm, I'm not entirely sure of what I want to do because, um, like I was saying, I wasn't enjoying comp for the longest time and... You know, I just wanted to take a, take some time to reevaluate my situation, figure out what I wanted to do going forward. Um, I am still gonna do competitive competitive Splatoon. Don't worry about that. It's just more so figuring out where I'm gonna go from here. If if I am going to continue with chaos control or if I'm going to find a new team. That's my current uh, uh, status right now when it comes to this, but hopefully y'all will still stick around. I still have a lot of stuff planned. 
as well as a few a few uh, special projects that I'm going to be a part of that I can't disclose yet, but eventually those things will come around in time. But I just wanted to make this quick little video just to, well, not quick little video, it's probably like over an hour long in terms of the recording, but of course it will be cut down. But I just wanted to make this little video about, you know, just, I feel like I've seen a lot of teams fail because of a lack of communication. And I wanna, I wanted to make this to maybe help equip teams for the commitment and whatnot, and whether they can actually be honest with each other. And hopefully it'll cause less problems with newer teams because pulling from my own experience it, it it can be stressful when you're part of a new team so hopefully this will help out a little bit in the regards of communication anyway that's pretty much all i have to say so thank you all for watching um if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like and sub and if you're new around here consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future content but like I said, I have a lot of stuff planned, and we're very close to 1,000 subs, and you know, you know what happens when you reach that. I'll be, I'll be releasing a public server for all the viewers. Um, but yeah, that pretty much does it. So again, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.